What's up everyone? I'm Lala, this is Flavors of New York, and tonight we are in Sunset Park checking out a restaurant called The King of Meat. So I know you're on the edge of your seat saying, what could they possibly cook there? We should go find out. Hi. Welcome to the King of Meat. I'm Lala, you must Roger. be Roger. Absolutely. Fantastic, the King of Meat. What do you make here? That's a dumb joke. Let's go. Show me. <laughs> Sit down. This is Roger. He is the owner of the King of Meat. Are you also the King of Meat? That's what people say. Yeah. I'm the King. <laughs> is it, why did you name it the King of Meat? Um, because I also own the King of Fish. So you're a dual kingship. Dual kingship. Wow, that's a bold <laughs> statement. Yeah. So okay. First things first, how long has the King of Meat been in existence? Uh, it's been open for the past 10 months. Uh, relatively oh, very so new. new. Yes. And you're getting a lot of press. You were telling me you had some articles and dishes on Eater. Yes. And yes. That's, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, it is. I'm very happy about that. I also heard that you are firstly a lawyer. Yes, that's actually what I do for a living. Okay, <laughs> so how does... A lawyer like yourself end up in the food business. Well, it's a long story, but you know, as a lawyer, you actually provide a service. Sure. So all my life, I've been providing services, legal services, uh, and I always love the fact to you know to own a restaurant. I also play music in a rock band. I'm a drummer. Oh my god, amazing! So I always wanted to open like a bar restaurant with amazing food, amazing music, an environment that people have an amazing experience. So for many years, I put on hold on that. And then one day, finally, I decided to go ahead and make that dream come true, and I opened the King of Fish. But actually, I opened it a month before COVID hit. Okay, so King of Fish came first. Came first. And then King of Meat, how much longer? So King of Meat came, uh, King of Fish was open in February 2020. Okay. King of Meat came February 2023. Okay. So three years after. So this place, very specifically, is a steakhouse, it is a steakhouse, but also a taqueria. Exactly. So the whole idea was that I wanted the people to experience both by being in the same place. Okay. So a lot of steakhouses don't sell you tacos or anything else other than steak. So my idea was, why don't I do a steakhouse where mm -hmm. you can get all the cuts that you want, or the meat cuts, but you also have a chance to get a handmade tortilla taco with ribeye in it or a steak or actually uh, pork, which is al pastor, oh God, that is yum. made with a gyro machine. So that was the whole idea behind it. And this is where it is now. You have a great cocktail program, right? Oh yes, so um, the, the good thing about our cocktails, uh, King of Meat and also King of Fish is that we don't buy anything. We make our own syrups here. Amazing. So, and we do fresh, we use fresh ingredients. That's why our cocktails are number one. Uh, for example, if you get a margarita, you're actually going to get fresh lime juice yes, in the margarita. Yes, don't give me any of that pre-made stuff. Exactly. Thank we don't you. have anything pre-made. So all our cocktails are, we use actually real fruits. We use watermelon, we use pineapple, we, we make it ourselves. So that's why our cocktails have a different taste. A taste that makes you wonder like, how to make this? How, how do you do this? So because no one actually in New York, there's few spots that you get fresh stuff, like sure. mine, but not everywhere. Here is your drink, Chupamelo. It's one of the most amazing drinks. Chupamelo. All right, so we have mezcal, the fresh lime juice, the mango syrup, yes. and a little dry vermouth with dry a, little, vermouth. a little rim. You're going to love mm -hmm. it. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Oh my god. It's really refreshing, and I love the smokiness of the mezcal yeah. with the sweetness of the mango. It's really balanced. It's beautiful. Thank you. And speaking of cocktails, I heard there's something else new going on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tell me about so it. So not only that I wanted to bring a steakhouse slash taqueria, mm -hmm. but I also wanted our customers to have also a place to go after they eat some good food, some good meal, and they say, I feel like dancing. Or I feel like having a drink and a cocktail somewhere else. Where do you go? We have a speakeasy lounge that just recently opened. Okay. In the same kino meat, which I can show you where you can party, you can dance, you can do whatever you like, and actually, and the name of it's called The Jail. Since I'm the a criminal jail. lawyer. Wanna go to the jail? You oh, wanna go to the jail? I see what you're doing. So you see mm -hmm. that relation? So yeah. yeah, we just opened it, and it's actually amazing, an amazing spot for you to uh, have a good time. You walked past a very specific wall 
You that get is, mugshots taken in yeah, front of that so, wall? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people have come in and they're like, oh, this is a mugshot wall. Like, yes. And then we have different type of mugshots you can take, take a picture of it, and you get to see, you can get pour in a drink, and you can see, like, you know. Okay, this is amazing because these are all amazing musicians. You've got Bowie and Hendrix and, yes. and Elvis and, and Jim Morrison. I mean. Yes, all of them has have been arrested. So that's why it's part of the uh, Speakeasy Lounge, the jail. So that's the whole myth behind it. Surprisingly, um, I have not been arrested. Okay. Knock on wood. But so if I ever do, I'm calling your you. Your picture will be right here on this wall. Oh my God, I can't wait. That would be the upside. <laughs> so this place is Joe. Yeah. So and also we have a DJ booth. So most of the time we're gonna have a live DJ. Cool. He's actually behind the jail. Actually, he's incarcerated, but he plays music. So. <laughs> This is the appetizer. One of the ones that we have in the menu is melted cheese with chorizo and with chips on the side so you can just dip in it. This is queso in a skillet with chorizo. Dear Lord, these chips look like they're made in house, which... Yes. Yeah, you got it. Oh in the my house. God. I said meat's my favorite, but it might be melted cheese is my favorite. Melted cheese, fried cheese. Mmm, mm. God. All right, this is Taco Al Pastor. Oh my God, yes. Made in the gyro machine. Okay, so this is the pork that's shaved. Oh, oh Correct. my God, and look at this beautiful tortilla. You can tell that it's made in-house. Corn tortilla, what kind of sauce do we have? We've got onions, we've got cilantro, what else? We have a secret sauce. It's a secret sauce. It. All right, so the you lime is there for lime. a reason. Yep. Gonna use it. <laughs> oh, this tortilla is just beautiful. It's really good. I'm a taco snob. It's delicious. The pork is so well seasoned. Yeah. Fatty bits, crispy bits. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell you, it's this tortilla that's just like bringing it all together. You ah! Can, you can be oh handmade my tortilla. God, you it's cannot. Impossible. Never. I'm going back in. <laughs> you're called the king of meat that's why so as you can see we actually don't put any salt on our meat the so exactly comes from the Himalayan rock salt so you cut your piece the more that you rub it the more salt that you get that's how you get to uh, enjoy yourself this is beautiful so tell me about the cuts that you're having what am I having here so this is a bone-in ribeye where we decided to bring asparagus uh, with garlic Yes. <laughs> what I love about this is you've got really beautiful char on this meat. And also you can see that the fat has been rendered. So obviously you're cooking this at very high heat. Yeah. Mmm. Not putting salt on it. The blot, like it really, like it tastes very seasoned. Yes. It comes through beautifully. Yes, that's, that's the whole idea. And people actually are loving the fact that they can decide how much salt they want in actual the meat. I mean, that's, so that's the key to good meat. The, yeah. the seasoning. <laughs> the seasoning. Mm. There is in the seasoning. Thank you so much. I guess I have to have some asparagus as well. And that sauce is a garlic-based sauce? Yes. Awesome. It's fresh garlic on it. That's how we are. Do you know what a challenge it is to not get everything all over my face when I eat on camera? <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> I love it. Still got some crunch to it. Again, beautifully seasoned, which is usually my biggest complaint. So good. I've Thank had you. a taco. I've had a steak. Yeah. You had a melted cheese. I chorizo. did. Taqueria. Steakhouse. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep eating. Dessert time. Here it is. What do we have here? You have a homemade cheesecake. Like any good steakhouse, you got to have the cheesecake. And I heard... That your wife is the one who cooks this? Homemade, oh absolutely. Oh my gosh, that's yes. so sweet. That's Look amazing. at that. Look at that. Did you get the shot? Homemade. Your wife makes these desserts, Yes, correct? she does. She makes all the desserts here and a king of fish as well. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> that is... Tell your wife that... What's her name? 
Tamara. Tamara is talented, people. She makes a darn good cheesecake. Oh, it's delicious. One full, and I'm happy. I wish the DJ was here now because I'm ready to like dance <laughs> off all that meat. But thank you so much, Roger, the lawyer slash restaurateur slash musician. Everything was amazing. Well, Come on you. out to the king of meat. Maybe you'll meet the king himself <laughs> here. And uh, thank you so much. No, my pleasure. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. For Flavors of New York, I'm full of meat and I'm Lala. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.